Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about lookup and reference functions. Like in Excel we have VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, MATCH, INDEX. We have two functions in VBA. One is CHOOSE and the other one is SWITCH. So the main purpose of lookup functions is to search for a value in a given array or any set and then return some corresponding values. Likewise in the CHOOSE function we need at least two arguments. The first argument is index which is followed by uh, n number of arguments we have specified four but you have you may have uh, n number of arguments here uh, at me, uh, least it should have one argument here so the index that you specify here uh, it is going to return the value um, at uh, that particular index out of those values so for example if i specify two here so i'm going to get the value which is at second index out of these values so i should get jo uh, joseph in this particular case um, but if i put one here i should get john if i put three here i should get mark if i put four i should get peter and if i specify five i should get an error so let us check this in vba so what i do is i simply use choose and then i put an index number let's say one for 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 the instance i use a b c or d four names and let's say i display this value in a message box so if we run it we get one um, for one we get a if i put two i should get b and if i put three here it should return me c and if i put four i'm getting d here and if i put any number greater than four it gives me invalid use of null runtime error so that's how this choose function works the next lookup reference function in vba is switch function now it again come up with uh, n number of arguments so we have expression and the value so we may have n number of expression value pairs separated by a comma so like expression 1 value 1 and then expression 2 value 2 and likewise we have up to n expressions and their values so the main funda for for this particular function is it start looking from uh, left and move towards right it checks the expression whatever expression passes whichever expression passes it returns the value just next to it so if expression 1 passes it will return value 1 if expression 2 passes it will return value 2 and it keeps on checking until it finds a match and if it doesn't find an anything it will return you a null value if none of the uh, expression is true let's check it switch uh, expression let's say uh, I specify here that a is 1 and I uh, declare it here name a as integer right and I initialize it a as 1 and my expression here is if a is equal to 1 then print 1 right and then my second expression let's say is a is 2 and then the value that, that I want to display is 2 and then a is 3 then 3 so I have three expression and value pairs and this value I will display in a message box so my value of a is 1 so 1 is equal to 1 so this expression is going to pass and I should get an output of 1 here in a message box let's see so I'm getting 1 but if I change the value to 2 so it will first check 2 is equal to 1 and the expression fails therefore it moves to second expression uh, it will check 2 is equal to 2 which is pass therefore it should it should return me TWO text in the form in the message box so it returns me 2 now let's see uh, let's say if we have a1 and let's say we have two expressions uh, this expression is also passing and this is also passing right so ideally two expressions are passing but since I told you that it is it starts checking from left and move towards right whatever uh, whichever expression passes and whichever uh, match it finds first it simply returns the value it doesn't check forward so it won't be checking for the second expression it will be returning me one only so here I get one as output and even if the second expression is true it is not uh, returning the output accordingly so that, that's all about uh, lookup and reference functions 
uh, in the next video we'll uh, talk about logical functions thank you